Both pupils are small in normal illumination. They are sometimes irregular in shape and unequal in size. In the dark, the pupils are also small, constricted. The light reflex test. When the light is shone into the right pupil, there is no direct or consensual reflex visible. There is no direct and consensual dilation when the light is removed from the right pupil. The pupils are already constricted and they do not constrict any further with the light. There is also no direct or consensual reflex visible when light is shone into the left pupil. There is again no direct or consensual dilation when the light is removed from the left pupil. The Argyle Robertson pupil with the swinging light test. When light is shone into the right pupil, no visible response can be observed from both pupils. There is also no response when the light is moved to the left pupil. Both pupils are still small. Note that the pupils don't dilate when the light is moved. It is also the case in complete darkness. The near test. The pupils are small in normal illumination and they constrict slightly more in response to the near target. But the pupils remain small when the patient's looking back at the distance target.